fucking right. That's a great song. But, uh, as you can see, we're down at the shop and this place is just a wreck. Holy. So I figured I'd give you guys a temperature update. It's uh, not spring no more. It's, uh, it's pretty damn cold out. Alright, so, it is, come on, do your thing, 2.12, and I've done a little bit of work this morning, I've, uh, did a lot of the power washing, uh, friggin' ice cubes came out of my damn hose this morning, so that wasn't good. So I'm gonna power wash in that, the deck, the yellow Chinese quad there, um, and the go-kart. So I was just wonderful and froze my hands off this morning doing all that. Um, but yeah, I got the, uh, the parts ordered for this thing. The only thing left I gotta get is an air filter for it. Shit, that's what I forgot to get. I'll have to do that real quick then. Um, put that order in before they ship it out. But uh, yeah, so I got the parts ordered for that thing and a few other parts I need for around the shop here. Um, Stripped out some copper wire this morning, with scrap metal corners. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give you guys a quick little update on what we got going on this coming month and the pretty much this weekend. Um, this weekend we got the World of Wheels coming up, we'll be going there Saturday. Uh, so I get some better footage this year than I did last year. Uh, cause last year I forgot my camera and this year I'll hopefully remember my camera. Um, I gotta send uh, Sajet83 a message, see if he's going this year, maybe we can meet up with him. Um, then, uh, as far as I know, um, sometime at the end of April, I want to say maybe the 28th of April to the 30th, I don't really know, uh, we're going to Pennsylvania. For the really big uh, swap meet there that they got there every year. Um, uh, so yeah, we're going to go down there for a little bit. Um, I think we'll be down there maybe three or four days. Um, so if you guys are in Pennsylvania, by all means, let me know. I mean, we're not going to stop, but we'll be at the, the show there. So if you, so you want to meet up with us. Let me know. Um, as far as I know, we're going to that. That'll be uh, the end of April in Carlisle. Carlisle, Pennsylvania is where the place is at. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. I think uh, my buddy Dwayne there, I think he's going to be bringing the, uh, the, midget, the quarter midget car down there as well. Um, we offered if he wanted to come along too, and I think he said he might go. So it's possible he might bring that thing down. He might go as well. He said he's gonna go on vacation anyway, so I said he might as well go down there. Um, we were hoping to do uh, Hershey Park again, but unfortunately, uh, Hershey Park is closed. Not until January, February, March, April, May is when they reopen. So that kind of sort of sucked. Uh, we we're hoping to do that again, but oh well. Uh, did that about maybe four years ago, three years ago. That was a pretty good trip. Um, also coming up in, I think it's July? July or June, we got the uh, Lennox Industrial Tools for the NASCAR race up at Loud, New Hampshire. We'll be there as well. Um, so if any of you guys are going to be up in that race, let me know. We'll see if we can meet you up somewhere in one of the venues or wherever maybe you might be at. Um, we're in the private section up on the hill there. So obviously you guys probably won't be able to get in, but we could probably meet you outside the gates or something like that. Who's ever up there? Um, I think Diecast Collector said he might be going up, so that would be pretty cool if we meet up with him, you know. And then, um, and yeah, I guess that's pretty much what I going on. Uh, my goal for this year is to try and take a week off every other month. Because I don't really get weekends off that much anymore, so I just want to take a week off every other month, go someplace, you know. Uh, last month there was uh, Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, went snowmobiling, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And then next month will be the uh, Pennsylvania trip, and then the two months after that will be the uh, NASCAR race, and then the 
think it's, uh, two months after, or at least a month after that, I think we're going to Canada again. Um, let's talk about that, or we might be going someplace else, don't really know yet. Um, and then the race will be again in September, so that's pretty much what my goal is. So, on that note, uh, um, yeah, I'm going to clean up this place. i got to put the parts in a little Ziploc baggie so I don't lose them and kick them all over the place. And just lose it when I can't find the fucking parts. Uh, then I'm going to clean this place up a little bit. Bring the uh, Toro tractor in. The MTD pieces of shit. Bring that in here. Finish her up. Uh, buddy there, Dwayne there, he, uh, he's got to get... Um, he actually had to buy a new blade for the Toro because one of the blades was missing. And I couldn't get the blades off the other deck. They were seized on there, so what can you do? Uh, so we had to go up buy new blades for that. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and the uh, the quarter midget car. A few guys were like, oh, that guy's ripping you off. This side, you know, thing. No, he's not ripping me off. I mean, he didn't technically give it to me. He he said he was going to give it to me. But, um, I mean, yeah, he is going to pay me for all the shit that I do. I mean, I've known him for... Shit, I've known his daughter since I was in kindergarten, so I just got to show you how long I've known him. Um, so no, he's not gonna fucking screw me over and like that. I mean, shit, I know where he lives. So I'll take a friggin' pipe wrench to his house. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. I mean, shit, I bought that thing off him. I bought a lot of shit off of him, and uh, for next to nothing. I mean, I only paid 120, 125 bucks for this thing. 120 bucks for that. And that's still a good deal. I have the mower deck out in the shed, which I gotta get cracking on. And there's so many fucking list projects going on. It's unbelievable. Um, I'm hoping after this week, get all the small projects done. And then I want to go out. I want to buy one tractor, flip it, make a couple bucks off of it. And uh, hopefully they'll pay for some of the uh, parts and shit that I might buy down in Pennsylvania and stuff like that. Because um, I really don't want to tap into my snowmobile money if I don't have to. Um, that's another thing is uh, Dwayne there. He's actually buying that 91 Jag that's sitting outside the shop there So yeah, so It's a whole mess of shit and I got the Burns project going on. I'd like to finish the Han project I'd like to start on the wheel horse. Actually, I got to finish the wheel horse. I mean, there's a lot of shit I gotta do. We just don't Really have the time for you know um, I got this one friggin son of a bitch that's nagging me off of, uh, that I know he used to come here and bring his shit here every now and then. And uh, you guys know which one I'm talking about. And I really don't even have the time to work on his shit, even though I really don't like him. I just don't even have the time to work on his shit, you know. Um, he emails me every day, still got work. I go, dude, there's nothing that I can do. I'm fucking jammed, you know. So, fuck, I mean, I... I won't be caught up anytime soon. That's all I gotta say. I mean, just... By looking around, all the shit that I got. And I got two other quads that are going to come in still. Two Chinese ones that are going to come in. Um, I would like to finish my truck. I'd like to put four new doors and stuff on that. And that's not even happening anytime soon, you know. So I just don't have the time. I think that person's just going to have to wait. And should really just stop emailing me. And when he can bring his shit here, you know. And I still got a fence to build. I still got the freaking fence to build out here. I was going to do it this week, but it's just way too fucking cold, so we're going to try and shoot for maybe, not next week, it looks like it might cold, be cold that week, maybe next week, uh, possibly the week after that, so, yeah, so I got a lot of shit to do, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get this place cleaned up, and, uh, we'll talk to you guys in a bit, oh, yeah. Here it is. Well, we got pretty much all what I need to get done today. We got the uh, the midget quarter midget racer back up up there. I just got done finishing up uh, the tractor here. Um, just went over with a little bit of black magic just to finish her up, and the thing looks fucking brand new. Fucking right, it does. Oh yeah. Then we got the uh, quarter midget. I'm talking to the. Uh, Dwayne there trying to figure out what we're going to do with it tonight. Uh, I have an idea of what we're going to probably do is probably just end up doing a little body work, sand it down a little bit, get rid of some of these uh, scratches and so little chip up front here and kind of just do a quick little wham bam body job on it. And we're going to just uh, take some truck bed coat and some of the rhino coat there. Rhino coat the entire frame. Um, 
probably polish up the rims a little bit. The uh, little tie rod ends right here. And uh, we'll probably have to contact Bill there possibly on maybe getting some new decals for it. Maybe something like a, like a, maybe like a three sheets of alphabetical water. So that way the uh, driver can put his new name on there for when whoever buys it. And then we'll put like uh, the tractor chop shop or something like that on the side. Maybe get some new numbers. I don't know. Maybe like I, I, might, I might do like an 88 number or something like that. I don't know. Junior. Um, you know, so I think that's what we're going to end up doing with this. Probably just paint that up, do some body work on it, and just wham, bam, or get her out the door. Probably like a two-day project uh, we'll be looking at. You know, nothing nothing to get too excited. You know, it's just a possibility. I think it used to be red. Uh, as you can see, there's some red right there, and a little bit of red over there, and saw some red little chips right there. There's some red right there into it, so I, think, I don't think it was originally red. Uh, I don't even know what color he's going to want. It. We'll probably go back to blue or something just to keep it simple. Throw a little bit of met metallic on it and we'll be good to go. But um, and we got the deck. We're waiting for the blades to come in. And uh, the deck's already power washed. Power washed it today. So, oh yeah. Looking pretty good on the thing. I got to get some, uh, just some tire shine just to. Make this not gray, it's gonna look a little bit more black like the seat. So, everything cleaned up nice on it. Tires came out nice, and this, that, and the other thing, the motor came out nice. A lot cleaner than what it was. Way cleaner. You can actually read the stickers. <laughs> Gas tank looks a little cleaner, you know. Frame even. Huh. Thing looks like brand fucking new. Unbelievable. So, oh yeah, and did the headlights too, cleaned them up. But uh, yeah, so I guess I'm done for the day. I got the uh, the seats out there drying too. I power wash the seats for that thing. So, but uh, yeah, so I guess that's about it. So I guess we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. And until then, don't yet let your uh, cola cougar blow up on you. Well, at least crack anyway. Oh yeah. There's the remote. Time for some, uh, time for some, uh, ooh, Miranda Lambert. Not a bad girl. I'd bang her. Time for some orange kind of choppers, I think. Aw, oh, not this show. I can't stand this show. Seriously? Bruh, come on. I don't want to watch Deadliest Catch. Really? Oh, it's on the History Channel. Ooh, Top Gear's on. Oh, wait, that's tonight. Ooh, is there more? Oh, I think there's more, guys. Oh, please go to... Oh, it doesn't go to three. Damn it.